Hey guys, Glenn here. If you own a 3D printer, you're going to have some issues with filament not being dry. It could either come wet from the factory or, or just left out in your basement for a couple days. And a filament dryer can help you recoup that precious filament that you wanted to save. Today we're trying out and testing the Fix Dry filament dryer. It's got some pluses and minuses that I want to go over. And I'm going to show you exactly if it works or if it doesn't. Let's get into it. The Fix Dry model NT2 3D printing filament dryer. This is nice. Let's open her up and see what's inside. The unit has feet on it. Also comes with this tube and manual. Got an on-off switch, which is really nice. Stand it up here. It's relatively sturdy on the feet. It has no hinge. That could be a plus or a minus for you. It has wheels inside. So you could put your roll of filament in here, like PETG. Keep it in here the entire time. Poke it out here and keep your filament dry. You don't gotta worry about it. Anything PETG or more, I uh, suggest that. It has a grommet on this side and this side, so you can have it whichever way you want in your print shop. The feet have rubber soles on them, which makes it extremely sturdy. All right, let's put a filament in. Looks like it fits. It'll fit pretty much any filament that I can think of. It's got extra room. Um, let's plug her in and see how she works. Doesn't matter which way you plug it in. All right, let's put the top on. Let it go. I'm doing this all one-handed. Very easy to do it one-handed. Just press the, uh, oh, hold on. Back here, hit the switch. Okay, still no light, let's see. Woohoo, touch screen, that actually, that feels really fancy. Feels like high quality. It's 37 degrees, 44%. Uh, that's about accurate. Yep, it is 45% uh, and 44%. 75 degrees. Okay, so let's see how this works. You press this, that starts blinking. You can go up or down up to 70 degrees Celsius. So you can really cook this bad boy and make it really, really dry. Now, 44% is what it is right now that is accurate. Oh, let's do it for how many hours can we do up to? Oh. Yeah, wow. You can cook this thing forever. So other filament dryers like my Solval, um, you couldn't cook it more than, I think it was 12 hours is the max for the Solval. Definitely isn't anywhere close to 48. So um, let's see, let's cook it for four hours and see what it comes out as. Maybe that'll be enough to make this PLA print well again, even though it's very cheap, <laughs> very, very cheap crappy PLA. Okay, so this is what I'm going to cook at, the PLA. And I also have an experiment, I'm doing an experiment with the PETG, but if I go too high, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm just going to do 50 at equal or less than four hours. And let's see what happens. Um, I might play around with it and do like four hours of 70 degrees or something just to see what happens because I don't really care about this filament. But we'll see. Okay, I ended up doing the PLA and the PATG for two hours and then four hours. Okay, time for the PTG. PTG. Oh, focus. 65. PTG. 65. 
for less than two hours. So let's give that a shot. All right, let's do 65. Four, two hours. Boom. I was previously playing with this thing, so it's a little heated up. I can do this all one-handed, which is really nice. Put that on. Boom. Looks good. Let's test it out in two more hours. Okay, I actually just realized this. They have it right on the front here. Um, you know, what temperature you need to do. It doesn't say how long, so it probably just depends on how much moisture you really got to take out of it. That is very handy. One thing that it really is cool that it has is a memory function and it's actually going to save your temperature if you do the same thing over and over again. That is nice that other filament dryers I've tested in the past don't have that. Alright, the tests are done and this is the PLA. This is King Rune, which is an extremely bad filament. However, if you're on a budget, you can use this as long as it's dry. But if it's out for about a week in just normal conditions, it starts looking like this. Now pretty bad. I also have JOPTG which was left out for a couple weeks um, and it became pretty much unusable but let's see what happens after two hours. We'll do the PLA first. This is two hours. Now kind of hard to tell on the camera but it is significantly better and probably usable now at least but then I did another two hours, so a total of four hours, and boom. Now you can see that this PLA is pretty much back to normal. Um, now this is an extreme test, so it's going, pretty much anything that I print with this is going to be stringy, but totally made it usable. And let's go to the PETG, which is much more difficult to turn around. Now this is the PETG, pretty much unusable. Um, this is after two hours. I didn't even take anything off of it. That's exactly how it printed, which makes it almost usable again. But then, four hours later, at 65 degrees, it is completely usable again. And prints pretty good. Now, if I put it in for eight hours, I can only imagine it would be much better, but this is a... I, I don't want a filament dryer that's going to be taking more than you know, four hours to, to fix the filament. Um, so, so far this, this experiment has done great. It looks awesome. And it saved me from throwing out filament that otherwise I would have just tossed in the garbage if I didn't have a filament dryer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you like content like this. If you enjoyed this video, you're definitely gonna like one of these. Until next time.